Hello everyone. In this video, today I am going to discuss how to use EDA Playground. It is a free platform to do various simulation. In this video, I am going to discuss how to use uh, EDA Playground to do the Verilog simulation. So first thing you need to do, you need to log in using your account. You can create an account with uh, Google or login with Facebook. But if you are using this, you will not be able to access the commercial tools. And hence, I recommend you, you to use your Educational Institute email ID to register with EDA Playground. As I am already having an account with EDA Playground, I am going to log in. Once you log in, you will be able to see two parts of the window. One is a design window and another one is a test winch window. Today, I am going to take the example of 4-bit adder and I am going to do the simulation using Verilog. To save the time, I have already written the program. I will just copy paste those programs and I will do the simulation. So this is the, my design file is 4-bit adder, my adder. So A and B are the input which are 4, four bits. CI is the carry input. Sum is the 4-bit output and C out is 1-bit output. I am writing this code in data flow modeling style. So I am using a sign and I concatenate C out and sum. So the uh, C out and sum together going to make a 5-bit number and the most significant bit will be considered as C out and remaining 4 bit will be considered as sum. Once I have a design file ready, I will go for test bench program which already I have written. So I will just copy and paste this code. Here, a small portion of code I am going to remove. I will bring this code again. So just delete. Now save this. So it is ask, it is giving me a warning to select simulator tool. So I will just select the language. It is a system Verilog or Verilog. And then I will go for the simulation tool. So I am going to select the Synopsys VCS 2020.03. It is a paid tool. If you register your account with Educational Institute email ID, you will be able to access this. Click on this. Here you can see the unit delay that is 1 nanosecond and precision is 1 nanosecond. Now you can save your code. Once you have saved the code, You are ready to simulate the program. Just click on run. Here in the log file, you can see the output. I have set A and B both as a 8 and 8. So my sum should be 16. Carry in is, is equal to 0. So you can see that the 4 bit 4 bits of the sum output is 0 and C out is equal to 1. So the most significant bit represents the C out. So if you have this 1, uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, it will be 16. Now, if I want to view the output in the waveform, okay. So here you have open EP wave after run. Just click this uh, option and you need to write a small piece of code that is initial begin uh, dollar dump file uh, dump dot vcd and dollar dump vars. Now 
save the program and run the simulation. It will open a new window where you can see the output waveform. So here you can see my inputs are 8 and 8, C in is 0, C out is 1 and the sum output all 3 bits are 0. I hope this will be helpful for you. Thank you.